Hey guys, Christy here from De Silva Life, and today's video is something that I've gotten asked so many times that I was like, hey, I think a million people must be Googling this. Let's make it a YouTube video. It's actually super simple. So right now at the time, ClickUp does not have a dashboard widget that allows you to create a ClickUp calendar. Yet I love seeing my stuff in calendar view. I don't know about you. So I'm gonna show you how to embed a calendar view onto a dashboard. And then another really cool tip. Okay, so here is a calendar view within my ClickUp. You can do this within a list calendar view, space, everything calendar view, whatever the calendar is that you wanna embed on a dashboard. You're going to click into that view. You're then gonna click the three dots and copy link of that view. Then go into your dashboard, click add widget, embed, custom embed. You'll name this, so I'll say this is the YouTube publish calendar. And then paste that URL, click add widget and adjust the widget size. And then there it is. So now it is in your dashboard. You can still click in it like you do just with anything else. Um, you can also adjust this. So this is really linking to the list, but if you keep it on this calendar here, then um, you'll be able to just have this very easy access in your dashboard. And it is that easy. Okay, so I hope you learned something new and that was helpful for you. Now, another thing I get is people want to be able to share a list with a guest being say it's a client or someone that you want to be able to view a list on ClickUp, but you actually don't want them to have access to be able to edit anything or even see every single thing within the list. So what I have done is a similar type of thing where we're embedding a list view, but we're embedding a specific filtered out view, just what you want that guest or client to see and putting it on their dashboard. That way you only have to add them to their dashboard. They don't actually have to be added to the actual list in ClickUp. So let me show you how that works. Okay, now I wanna show you a really cool trick about how to make a filtered client view and be able to embed that on a client dashboard without having to give them access where they can actually click into these different tasks. So this is our workflow mapping template. So I'll just create a view in here that say we didn't want our client to see anything like who's assigned to things or due dates. We just want them to see the task and the status of that task. You can decide what you want your client to see. Maybe you want them to see the whole entire list, but you just don't want them to be able to click into it. So that's where I'm going to add another view and I'm gonna call it client view. You can choose to keep it as a drop down, or you can pin it so it's separate. And now I'm going to go ahead and group this by the custom field so it looks the same as the other one. You could have also just duplicated this list and then made this a different view. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to hide the assignee, hide the due date and priority, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show the status. So again, you can format this client view however you want. I just did this one as an example. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click the three dots, sharing and permissions, and I'm going to click public link. Now I'm gonna copy this public link and I'm going to embed it just like I did on the dashboard in an embed view. So this is where I'll put, you can put like your project or whatever you wanna name it. Paste this in here. And now you'll see, because we grabbed this public link, it's just showing from this view. It's not showing all the other views at the top. So just a note, if you want this also to show up like this with the dashboard where it's just showing that calendar, you can do the same thing where you make a public link and embed it with the public link so it just shows the calendar, it doesn't show the other views at the top. Now your client will be able to see this but they will not be able to click in. So what I want to show you here as well 
is uh, you can click in here because you have access, but if you open up an incognito window, so let me do that, then you can see I'm gonna paste in, and now this is if I'm the client, and I can't click on anything in here because it's view only permission. So whether you want to embed this on a dashboard so you don't have to add them to the list, or you just wanna share one single view with them, editing this out and creating that list with deciding what you want in it and then creating a public view only link is the perfect way to do it. Okay, so those were just two super quick and simple tips, but really helpful for just kind of having a little bit of an advanced workaround within ClickUp dashboards to see what you wanna see and do what you wanna do goals. So hope that video was helpful for you. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment down below if there's something specific that you're wondering that we don't have anything on our channel yet that I can make a video tutorial for you on our channel as well. Thanks for watching.